Hello YouTube, we have a TP-Link AX3000 dual band gigabit Wi-Fi 6 router and this is the Archer AX50 model. So just remember AX50, the major difference is that it uses USB 3.0 instead of 2.0 on the back of the router. And on top of that, it has some enhanced um, parental controls that the non-AX50 uh, does not have so just remember that's the difference because you can actually get an ax3000 without that special model designation and that will um, be almost exactly the same except it's usb 2.0 uh, and uh, less controls less parental controls and less less options for that so uh, this is a uh, again it's a wi-fi 6 router so newest generation uh, Intel uh, chip in there, so that's a fairly good um, <clears throat> chip maker. So in other words, uh, a good processor. Let's open this up, see what we got in here. All right, so how is this packaged? Has a nice tray. <clears throat> Let's see, okay. This is difficult to do with one hand. There's a quick install guide. And we have the router itself. We got the power adapter there. So let's take that out. Okay. Oh, and it looks like we have ethernet cord. Good, I will need that. And again, power adapter. It looks like those are all of the accessories. Um, my uh, <laughs> my switchblade comb there. Okay, and let's open this up. So you got the antennas there. It looks like they go through these little holes there. So what we're going to do is straighten them out. Looks like they got pivots, so you can straighten them out. There you go. And then simply take that bag off. There you go, slides right off. Okay. TP Link in flesh. So, what do we got here? Again, we're working with a couple different things here. We got, um, again, a 3.0 USB. Um, you get your status LEDs there, uh, all your local area network connections. So everything that you're connecting to it directly. And you got your WAN, which is your uh, wide area uh, network uh, connection, uh, your power. And you have your reset or power button, and then you have your power um, input there. So essentially, what you want to remember is that your modem... Uh, the cord comes out of your modem, your ethernet cord, main one, should go into your uh, main WAN port there. And then the rest of the um, wired accessories. So if you have like a, you know, a PlayStation 5 or an Xbox um, or uh, something like a uh, smart TV and you wanna wire this directly, you would use these particular um, ports for that. Um, so what you wanna do is uh, get these antennas in order first. So uh, I got this stick in here. There we go. So that's straightforward. You just wanna um, twist these antennas. There's a twist here. So see how you can twist it. And then when you twist it, you can get it get that antenna all the way up so that it sits upright and it doesn't interfere with where you're installing it now obviously depending on where you're installing it you can you can t twist these antennas different ways so you can kind of make space for the next one so twist again raise it up straighten it out kind of like in the picture there sort of uh, and then do the same thing here twist 
yep so this is so just an fyi when you're twisting here you're kind of doing it clockwise and here you're doing it counterclockwise when you're twisting so so there you go right there got all the antennas squared away and you probably want to take this protect protective uh, plastic off at some point same thing here uh, plug it in make sure it works so get your adapter and um, let's make some space here take this out we're gonna plug that in later just test it always test your your equipment here Right, got your power adapter plug that into the next to the power button into the power port here there we go and then turn it on all right got lights so indicating it's getting power and then uh, you can do your wiring setup all right so you've established that you've got power and your Wi-Fi networks are emitting however you don't have internet connection and you don't have any direct directly linked um, ports USB is not connected so those are your again internet connection direct LAN so directly wired connections and then USB connections. So those are not on. So what we want to do is, again, if you have a modem, it's going to look something like that. You're going to have a cable coming out of that right on the bottom, or should. If you don't, you can just, again, these are for um, voice up top, and then you have the standard internet cable down on the bottom. So what you can do is you can take this and simply plug it into your... Um, WAN port there. However, um, I like using things that originally came with equipment, so I'm just going to use the cable that actually came with it. Easier to tell also because these are all yellow. Um, this one's gray, so I can kind of tell this is the main one coming out of the modem going into the um, Wi Fi router. So, what you want to do is unplug this. Remember to unplug these. You always want to squeeze that top tab there, right there, and then pull. All right, and you want to plug your gray connector. There we go. And when you hear that click, that means it's good. And then all you want to do is just take the uh, take the other end. And plug it into your LAN port right there. So, nope, all the way. You want to make sure the tab goes down to where that indentation is. So, there you go. You heard that click. All right, so now we have a connection. Now many times you may need to notice it does say when it's blinking it's sending data so sometimes you'll need to um, uh, disconnect and reconnect however this seems like it's getting data so all you want to do is check on the front and a solid green planet light there tells you that you have a successful internet connection it's not blinking so that means the wi-fi should work um, and what you want to do is next if you have to wire anything you want to do that with um, the yellow cables that you may have in the house already so what you can do is utilize the ethernet cable now this ethernet cable i already have going to a switch which connects the smart tv uh, PlayStation over there and things like that. So what you can do is simply plug it into any of the LAN ports. I like to sort of be sequential, so we're going to do LAN 1. And you 
here to click, so that's good. Um, and then on the back here, you can tell that your land light is on right there, local area network. And the last thing you have is USB. Again, USB is used for certain devices um, that run, that can connect to um, the router via USB. So you don't really need, necessarily need to do that or use that. So now you're all set. And what you want to do is check on your PC um, or smart device to see if the Wi-Fi network is emitting. Uh, the way you can tell what the Wi-Fi SSID is is by flipping this over and reading the SSID. Uh, you can see here, it's gonna tell you what the SSID is. It's gonna say TP-Link and it's gonna give you a password or a PIN so you can connect.